Hello everyone, welcome back to Hearthstone. Alright, let's start another arena run, and let's hope my luck is better than last time. Or, well, let's be honest, it's not really luck, it's more like let's hope my skill is better than last time. Once again, I'm hoping for a rogue. Ooh! Hello, Valera. Alright. Head crack. Eh, don't really want it. Master of Disguise, that could be very nice. Could be. Imp Master. Hmm. You know, I've never actually used Master of Disguise before, so I actually want to. Yeah. Let's go with that, it could be fun. I want to see how I can use it with other stuff. Could be interesting. Sap could be very nice, too. Archmage can be nice, especially because of the spell damage. Would help with all of my spells that I'm hopefully going to get. Raging Worgen is just a damn good card in general. Hmm. Let's go with the Raging Worgen. Sinister Strike, Hell No, Eviscerate. It's got to be Eviscerate. Yeah. Some nice removal. Go with the fairy dragon. Yeah. Ooh. Deadly poison, definitely. <laughs> no doubt about this one either. Assassin's Blade, hello. No, oh, this one's pretty easy too. Device. It another Device? Yeah, I'm actually gonna go with Device again. Shadow Step, return a friendly minion to your hand, it costs two less. Could be excellent for doing combos. On the other hand, I don't have any high costers, so maybe I should go with the Stormwind Champion. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with the Stormwind Champion. I'm not sure I want another Master of Disguise. I really don't care for the Mana Addict. I've n I, I've taken it a few times, I think, and I've never really gotten it to do anything useful at all. So I'm kind of iffy with it. Uh, maybe I will take another 4-coster. I mean, I already have a decent amount of 2-costers. Two, 2 devices, a Fairy Dragon, and... Oh, actually, that's all I have. Just 3. Hmm. Let's go with the Master Swordsmith. And I will take another Assassin's Blade, thank you. I will take the Mad Bomber. I'm thinking maybe I should go with a Sprint. At the moment I have no card draw whatsoever. Yeah, let's go with the Sprint. Some late game. I can put me back into the game late game if I'm out of cards. Okay. Hmm, I have no five costers. Only one three I could, honestly, all of these are decent cards. Let's go with the Harvest Golem. Alright, at the moment I have no taunt either, so let's go with the Sentient Shield Master. Conceal does sound like it could be pretty damn useful. But... Uh, let's get a taunt while going. Alright, I think I should take the Shadow Step. Venture Coat Mercenary can be damn good, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it can be damn good, and I have no 5 coster minions. Yeah, I should probably go with that. 
Ah, uh, another time, Shadow Step, another time. Right, Sinister Strike, hell no. Torn Warrior, mm. Nah, I don't really like it. No. I guess Iron Forge Rifleman? I, I don't really like it either, to be honest, but I like it more than the Torin Warrior. Yeah, let's go with this. I could pop a Divine Shield with that one damage. And, yeah, I can do some interesting things with it. Uh, I don't really want more Taunt. Or do I? I mean, I only have two Taunts, actually. It's really not that much. It doesn't actually really do anything, though. It has no damage potential. Let's go with the Mad Bomber again. <laughs> it should be fun to play with those Mad Bombers. Oh, hello! Whoa. Okay. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> these are fun cards. King Mukla. Give your opponent two bananas. That gives them some buffing cards. This can give you insane early pressure. If you get it early, if you don't, well, not so much. Tank Master Overspark um, can actually be pretty damn good. You can use it on a very weak minion of yours. For example, you could use it on the 2-1 the damaged golem to attempt to get a 5-5 Devil Soar. It's a 50-50 chance of which one you get. So, here's the interesting thing about the Battle Cry of the Tink Master Overspark. You can use it to attempt to get yourself a better creature, or use it on something big that the enemy has to make them have a smaller creature. So, if you think about it, if you, if you use it on an enemy, and they have a decently powerful card out, say, a... Uh, then what's the thing called? The Frostwolf... No. The, the Chill Wind Yeti. Like, if they have a Chill Wind Yeti out, if you use it on it, if it turns into a 5-5 Devil Store, I mean, that's fine. It's pretty close to what it was before. But, there's a 50 chance, 50% 50 chance that you turn it into a 1-1 Squirrel. So overall, you know, you can do some good stuff with it. You can use it to buff your own creatures, or have a pretty good chance of taking down their big creatures. On the other hand, Anixia is, well, badass. And I don't have any 9-costers, so I think maybe I should go with that. I don't know. Let's go with the Nixia. Alright, Murloc Tidecaller? No. Violet Teacher, whenever you cast a spell, summon a 1 1 Violet Apprentice. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm probably gonna have quite a few spells. Although at the moment, I don't. But yeah, let's go with that. I'm hoping for more spells, like this, for example. Okay. So either the Shadow Step or the Cold Blood. Give a minion plus two attack. Combo plus four attack instead. Hmm. Which one's better? Well, how many battle cries do I have at the moment? That I could really benefit from? Master of Disguise. Iron Forge Rifleman. I, I don't really have that much. It's really the, the SI-7 agents, or whatever they're called, that would really particularly benefit from Shadow Step. So, I'm gonna go with Cold Blood. Silver Moon Guardian's a good card. Raid Leader... Hmm. It can't be nice. I think I'm gonna go with Sap for some more kind of removal. I mean, it only returns the minion to your opponent's hand. They can just play it again, of course. However, I think the particularly good thing about Sap is that, well, for one, it's a delaying tactic. So if they have a big taunt on the field, you can get it off and then have all of your minions, assuming you have any on the board, attack. So you can delay and keep some pressure on. But also, if they've invested a bunch of buffs into their card, that will undo it. Because it returns the base card back to their hand. And if they play it again, it doesn't have any of the buffs. So if they sink a bunch of stuff into it, it could be really nice. And I already have a decent amount of 4 costers and 3 costers, so let's go sap. I want some more spells. 
And I have no one coster minions, so let's go with the leper gnome. Okay, here we go. Yep. Need, ooh. Hmm. These are. This is a nice combo card. Betrayal is nice removal. I mean, Shiv can be removal as well, of course. But I also have no silence, so it's more important. Silence or combo spells. I don't know. Well, at the moment I have Sprint, but I don't have any early game card draw. Let's go, Shiv. Um, I no, I don't want a third Assassin's Blade. That's a little bit too much. I have no six costers, so Wind for Your Harp is looking pretty good. Yeah, let's go with that. No Mission Inventor, that's some more card draw, could use that. Shadow Step, do I want that? I still don't really. Of course, Shadow Step can also be used to return a minion to the battlefield. Um, you know, even if it doesn't have a battle cry, you can simply use it to restore its health. So if it's down to, say, one health, then, you know, put it back in your hand, play it again. And it's back up to full. So either that or the Gnomish Inventor. I kind of want more spells. Bit of card draw is never bad, though. And I do seem to be lacking card draw in general, so let's go with that. I mean, not for this, but... Like, in my past decks that I've played in Arena, it seems like card draw is a big problem for me, so I think I need to have more card draw. Let's go with another device. And another Deadly Poison. Okay. Blood Sail Corsair, don't care for. Morlock Tide Collar, don't care for. So, Sun Fury Protector. I am pretty happy with this deck. It's... It's lacking a little bit of punch in the late game. Although I suppose Anixia kind of makes up for it just by being massive. But it's got a good amount of taunt, good amount of punch, some interesting combos, lots of weapons and defies ringleaders, which is nice. Um, really, I think the only thing it's majorly missing, it's got a good amount of card draw too. Um, the only thing it's majorly missing, I think, is just more removal. There's a lot of removal things that I didn't get. I have one shiv, I have one eviscerate, which actually isn't... No, yeah, that is removal. But hopefully between my weapons and my two deadly poisons, I can make up for that. And no SI agents. I love those cards so much. I'm really sad I didn't get any. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Of course, I'm probably going to go in there and finish with 0-3, but... Hey, at least I feel good. Is their name seriously White Black One? <laughs> what the hell kind of a name is that? Uh, since I have the Sun Fury Protector, I really don't need this. Yeah, I'll toss that and keep the others. That's not what I wanted. Oh, Storm and Champion. The pleasure is mine. You're too big, man. You don't belong. Go back to where you came from. Go back to your home. Well, don't definitely don't want to play this without another minion. I'll just play that. And then next turn I'll play the Harvested Golem, and then probably the Sun Fairy Protector. To give my stuff taunt. Okay. I'm okay with that. Use some removal and damage themselves in the process. One card for a one card, that's fine. Really? You're really gonna use your hex on that? That is really strange. I don't agree with that. But I'm certainly not going to complain.
I think maybe I should just get the Master of Disguise out there. Even though I don't really need it. Like, I want some punch. So many options. Enter the shadows. <laughs> now I have a... A 0-1 frog with taunt and stealth. Yep, that's a beast. Right, so I can kill that with my eviscerate. Or, well, that's not going to kill it. Actually, why even bother killing it? Wait a minute, I, I don't remember how stealth works. Can't be attacked or targeted until it deals damage. Does that mean, I think if you're stealthed, the taunt doesn't take effect. If I remember right. I think that's how it works. Yeah, so this is basically as if it's not there. Anyway, okay, in that case, let's... I guess I didn't have to kill that. I mean, it only had two damage potential. Maybe I should have left it. Did I screw myself by giving this thing stealth? It's never gonna die, is it? It's just gonna take up space on my board. Right, well, my Master of Disguise is obviously gonna die. That's pretty much just a given at this point. So, I wonder. I kind of want to just get my weapon out. They might have an acidic swamp ooze, but they probably don't. I don't really want to get more taunt out. Well, Play this, next turn I played that. Okay, I'll get this out. Yeah, I kind of want to get another minion out there because I want to play the Storming Champion next turn. And it'll give 1-1 one, one to everything. What are you doing? What are you doing with that tiger? My shield for Argus. Are you going to kill my Mogushan Warden with it? Oh. Fair enough. Alright, that leaves me in a bad spot. Hmm. That's not good. I need to kill stuff. Alright. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. All right. Let's play this. Give you cold blood. It's a very, very angry frog. That was one pissed off frog, huh? Ouch. They're gonna take it out. Ooh. I'd like a Nixia right about now. Ooh. I can pop off the Divine Shield. Okay. That's great, and then I could punch it in the face. But it wouldn't kill it, so what's the point? I could play this, but then I can't play this to pop off the Divine Shield, which means it's going to attack it. Dealing 4 damage, and... 
That doesn't leave me in a good spot. I don't, I don't really want to play this while that thing has its divine shield. So many options. I really don't. So... I'm gonna pop that off. And then I'm just gonna play that. Yeah, I didn't really like doing that, but I really didn't like what my other option would have been. Actually, the, I think that was a mistake, because now I can just hit that thing, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Now that it has three health. I wouldn't have attacked the Iron Forge Rifleman. Huh, another Assassin's Blade. Well, I know precisely what I'm doing. All right, a Nixia right about now would be perfect. Or, like, sprint. Yeah, where's all my cards where I've been hanging out? To Northrend. Ow. That doesn't terribly help. At least if they throw their Argent Commander at it, it dies. Yeah, I could really use Sprint or Anixia right about now. Ooh. Good play. Oh, really good play. Damn. Does it, does it come back with Divine Shield? Please tell me it doesn't. Oh, no. It comes back with Divine Shield. I think I've just lost. Oh, maybe I haven't lost. Alright, we'll punch you in the face. Probably just gonna kill that with their Searing Totem and pop off the Divine Shield with their Archer Commander. Which is gonna leave them with 7 damage potential. Oh, never mind. 8. Oh, never mind. 11. Or, no, sorry, 9. I need a miracle right about now. I don't think that exists within my deck. <laughs> okay, away. Good job, gee, thanks. There's, yeah, there's no way. Mad Bomber to the rescue! Well, it's off to a bad start. Where the hell is my card draw? Anixia, Sprint, anything. Hopefully this one goes better. Valera versus Malfurion. I must protect the wild. Watch your I'll keep these two, but I'll get rid of the Wind Fury Harpy. Ooh, excellent. If only I had the coin. But I don't. The pleasure is mine. Nature will rise against you. How rude. That wasn't a greeting. Oh, wild growth. That's gonna give them a long-term advantage. Hmm. 
Yeah, I really don't want to play the Defice Ringleader without comboing it, so instead, let's Mad Bomber. Thank you, Mad Bomber. A natural mistake. Oh, it wasn't a mistake. It's part of my grand plan. Next turn, I can Shiv and then Defias. For now. Let's just get that out there. Okay, I'm not going to be shivin' that. Actually, wait. Yeah, I think I will. Yeah, actually, I will shiv that. And I'll attack it with my golem. Yep, so this won't die. Gets it down to one health. Excellent. Next turn, I can Gnomish Inventor for another card and Leper Gnome. Or I can Gnomish Inventor plus Cold Blood if I need to take out something big and nasty. Or I could Raging Organ, Leper Gnome, and Cold Blood. Don't mess with Tusker. Definitely won't be Cold Blooding. I think just Gnomish Inventor, and then Leper Gnome. Alright, it's my late game sprint. If I could cold blood my raging worgen, oh boy. Hmm. Would they have a mess on their hands? It would do eight damage per attack. If I could cold blood it and enrage it. Give me a taunt. Yep. Alright. Ah, cold blood won't quite reach it. Ooh. Nasty. Time waits for no one. Actually, I might cold blood. Let's see. So many options. And for your rifleman, take you down to four. Yeah, yeah, this will work out. So many Cold blood. Eh, 
And you die. I'll punch you in the face. Next turn, I'm probably gonna sprint. Although I could Master of Disguise and Raging Morgan. If that's their only play, I'm definitely sprinting. Is that all you've got? Wow, okay. Yeah, they're, they don't have a lot to play, I guess, or at least nothing low cost enough. I'm definitely sprinting. Yeah. Yeah, let's sprint. Ooh, Anixia. Yes. Hey, give me a minute. Fire. Here we go. Got a lot of options now. Did you... Did you just faceless manipulator my Iron Forge Rifleman? What? Oh, you needed a taunt. Wow, they are desperate. They are really, really desperate. To do that. I'm probably just gonna sap it. They sunk that card into it. Let's, let's deny them. Play this, and then what? Town, scrub. Yeah, beat it. Let's get the Raging Morgan out there. Fire. I'm so glad I sprinted. And I can still Anixia. A Starfire to destroy a Worgen. I mean, they had to. But it really just drives home how... How much they've been driven into the corner here. Okay, need to ask myself, do I have lethal? I might. If I weapon and diddly poison off three attacks, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't have lethal. Nope, I don't have lethal. Alright, let's hey, give me a minute. You're looking at me. attack them. And What have you got? Anything more? At the moment, that's still GG. I can see. Well played. Well played. Alright. 1-1. One, one. The dream. <laughs> I can quit now. I'm obviously a master of the arena. I think I'll keep Eviscerate since it's the only one I have. In fact, I think I'll keep this all. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Anixia. On turn one. Thank you, Anixia. The pleasure is mine. It's nice to know you're there. It's it's comforting. Greetings, traveler. Ooh. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Well, got nothing to combo with that, so let's just get this out. Eh, that's fine. A two-coster for a two-coster. Fair enough. I'd like to play a Defias, but I still don't have anything to, anything to combo with it, so... Nope. Next turn, I can Shiv and then Defias. Or Eviscerate and then Defias. It's going to be a Shiv. Yeah. Shiv it, take it out with a Harvest Golem, and then Defias. <laughs> Second verse, same as the first. What class, and how you doing? Eh, doing okay so far. Shiv that. Attack it. I don't have enough mana. Where's the dash? Where's the dash? There's the dash. Am I going to be bashing stuff in the face? Maybe. What about Eviscerate? I can't combo that with anything to get it to do 4 damage to take out the Silverback. Yeah, I think hit it in the face, and then run a damaged golem into it. Alternatively, I could eviscerate, then run one thing into it, and then there's nothing else I could do. Yeah, let's do this. Here we go. Next turn, I could Wind Fury Harpy. Oh, that thing's getting smacked in the face. In fact, I might actually Wind Fury Harpy. Given what they have on the board, I think I will. Alternatively, I could Taunt and then Defy us. Well, I know I'm going to do this, so let's just do this. You know, at the moment, I really don't need to protect the Wind Fury, so let's just get the damage potential out on the board. Take that thing out, because it'll buff their stuff. I don't want that happening. In the next turn, I can send Jin and Defias. Or I could send Jin and Eviscerate. Take out something big and nasty, I suppose. What have you got? Okay, this Wind Fury is going to see some use, I think. Is that all you've got? Tracking. Okay, yeah, they need cards. And I've got some pretty nasty stuff in my hand. <laughs> Turn 9, Anixia. Oh boy. And I'm about to protect this Wind Fairy Harpy with a Senjin. They are not gonna like that. Here we go. Wind Fairy Harpy getting some. I don't know what that sum is. I don't know I don't know what she's getting. 
I guess she's getting the satisfaction of clawing somebody in the face. My shield for Argus. Ooh, defender of Argus with nothing to actually give it to. Wait, do I have lethal? Hold on, I might have lethal. Four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Let me count that again. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I have lethal. GG. Storm and Night, Reckless Rocketeer, or Arcane Explosion? Hmm. Hmm. Well, definitely not Reckless Rocketeer. Arcane Explosion. What does Arcane Explosion do? I can't remember how much damage it does. I know it's a removal spell, I think. Um. I'd say the Stormwind Knight. Yeah. Hopefully that's good advice. I honestly don't remember how much damage the arcane arcane explosion does. There's arcane missiles, arcane Ah, I don't remember. Storm is night pretty good. Storm and Night is pretty good though. Often two for ones. It's kind of it's kind of like a removal spell and a minion at the same time, sort of, because of its charge. Though obviously it's not exactly the same. Valera versus Malfurion. A fireball, a polymorph, and I guess technically a big game hunter. Wait, what do you mean technically a big game hunter? Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna keep that all. It's pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. Big Game Hunter could be nice. Polymorph is more reliable. Hmm. I'd say Fireball. Costs the same as a Polymorph, but it has more uses, I think. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> with, with how my arena runs I've been doing, am I really? Should I really be giving advice? Should I just get some get some pressure out there? Let's wait. Sometimes I regret waiting to combo this stuff properly, but maybe I won't. We'll see. Their name is Soul Punch. No, not in the soul! Don't punch me in the soul! You want to punch me? I'll punch you. Right. Now it's time to give you taunt and defies. My minions just danced around. That was interesting. Not sure how my Defias ringleader and Defias bandit ended up separated. I thought they were together. I thought they were friends. What we do. Oh great, and now everything I have is dead. Yeah, like everything I have is dead. Two damage? Well, okay. My Harvest Golem and my Sun Fury Protector will survive, but other than that, no. So 
All right. Let's. Uh, we got to deal with it. Let's just do it. No, no, no. I got this. And let's get some insane pressure out. Deal with that. How would you say? Hmm. The Beast, Tinkmaster, Overspark, or Nas Dormu? Oh. Sorry for a while, thinking I'm just very nervous when I play Arena. No, no problem. Um. I don't remember what Nas Dormu does. I I know the Beast and Tinkmaster Overspark. Um. I would say I, I think the Beast and no Nas Dormu are both high cost cards, and I know Tinkmaster Overspark is three coster, so let's say. Um. Yeah, unless you really need high costers, like you're really desperate for it, I go with Overspark. Where shall I strike? Or buff your own. Potentially. I misspelled that, but whatever. Alright, what the hell's going on on the board? Oh yeah, there's a game. I'm playing a game. Uh... Hold on, can I just... Plus four. If I can combo this with something, then I could just kill that with one of my tiny minions. And I can with my Assassin's Blade. I'm gonna hit you in the face. Because you're really low on health, and I still have three more uses of this thing, and I doubt I'm gonna use it all before the end of the game. Well played. Why, thank you. Yep, this Vendrico Mercenary is proving a good investment, although it's about to be, what, hexed? What do they, what do they have? Removal wise? Actually, wait, do I have lethal next turn with my weapon? That's... no, I have... well, yeah, yeah, I do, actually, 12 damage. So, they need to heal or t they're gonna taunt. Okay. Oh, can put up my own taunt. Okay, I could remove that. Yeah, let's uh, let's remove that. Here we go. Getting some serious value out of this Vendrico mercenary. I can see. Well played. Well played. Three wins. I'm now three one. Three one. Three one. Three one. Okay. I'm happy. It doesn't matter what happens. I will be at least content. Even if I get two more losses, I'm content. I'm really liking this deck. Despite the loss on the first game, which had me worried that maybe the deck was not as good as I thought it was. Despite that, it's actually going really well. Three in a row. That's that's good. Valera versus Malfurion. I must protect the wild. Watch well, your back. got some defiances going on here. Jesus. Do I want this engine? It's a four coster. That's borderline. I think I'm gonna toss it. Do I want two devices? Uh, sure. 
I don't know if I want to, but it's kind of funny. The pleasure is mine. Well, on turn three, I can... So turn two, I'll, assuming I don't get anything special. On turn two, I will Dagger Mastery, and then on turn three, I'll Deadly Poison and Defias. Or maybe not. I should probably just shiv that thing. Should I? So I don't think I should. Options. That means my turn 3 play wouldn't work. Because I won't have a weapon out. No, let's not. I'm just gonna hit it in the face. Here we go. You know, maybe I should save the deadly poison for when I get my good weapon. Or maybe I shouldn't. Never mind, I don't think I will. Not with that thing on the board. Yeah, to get rid of, to get rid of an Ima uh, bleh, I can't talk. To get rid of an Amani Berserker. I think it's worth it. But there's the Assassin Blade. I could get this thing up to 5 damage with 4 durability, which would be epic. I think it's my only deadly poison. Nah, let's do it. Next turn I can shiv and then defy us again. What are you coining? I don't like that. Four mana. Ah. Ah. Okay. Great. Why is the Twilight Drake floating? Well, it does have wings. I guess that's why. What the? What? Come, what? Twilight Drake, come back here. What are you doing? Jesus, calm down, Twilight. Don't fly away. You need to stay in the game, okay? You need to see it through. Come on. Yeah, just shiv the damn thing. Well, let's see what I get before I play anything. Okay. Come back! Where you going, Twilight? It's like a freaking kite. It's a Twilight kite. Next turn, I can just run my Defies Bandits into it to kill it. Never mind. So much for that. What What is going on with the Twilight Drake? It is literally floating in the air. It is a kite. Oh, what I'd give for my sap right about now. Return that to their hand. Get rid of all the buffs it's had applied to it. And of course they're going to go for me, right? Yeah. I pretty much just have to run everything into it. Yeah, that's really the only thing that makes any sense. So many options. Let's see what I get. Alright. I've got some pretty scary stuff in my hand, though. Really? You used a swipe on a gnomish inventor? I don't agree with that. Look at my Wind Fury Harpy. Without anything on the board, there's a pretty good chance I'm actually going to get to use it. Next turn, I can Sun Fairy Protector, Fairy Dragon, and Raging Worgen. Mmm, so much for that. Okay. 
let's not give my Raging Worgen taunt. Yeah, because I want to protect that thing. And it's potential damage potential. Potentiality. What have you got? Ooh, good play. Although, unless you have something to follow it... Okay, you do. And now it becomes a piece of crap. Anixia is looking rather good right about now. But I should probably play my other stuff. I wonder. Yeah, I should probably play my other stuff. All right. I got this. Let's get you out. Let's give you stealth, so you can continue to provide us buffs. While not being attackable, which is rather excellent, and then let's punch you in the face. Now I have a Master Swordsmith that is in stealth. Good luck dealing with that. Okay, a bunch of small stuff. I'm just going to go right for him. Put up a taunt wall. And bring out my blade, I suppose. Wait a minute, do I have lethal? I, no, there's no no, there's no way I do. Eight. Eleven. No. <laughs> I hate arena. Uh, I guess it's not going so well. I could just bring Anixia out as well, but I kinda wanna wait until they play more stuff. I don't know. The first minion you play each turn costs one less. I don't even need to worry about taking that out because we're on such high mana that it probably doesn't really matter. So... Ready. I'm gonna leave you in stealth. And, uh... YOLO. Good luck with that. That was just so fun to play. Even if they have something crazy to remove it, just playing Anixia is fun. They actually might be able to remove lethal from the board, but I'm guessing if I can if I get the assassins blade out, I can take them out. First loss was awful. Aw. Yeah, okay, so what do I have on the board? 11, 12, 13, 14. Wait, I do have lethal, don't... Oh yeah, I definitely have lethal now. GG. I'm back! I've actually gotten to four wins for the first time in, like, an entire week or something. Ah, <sighs> it's been a long time since I've gotten to four wins. It feels good. I really, really like Rogue. They're so much fun to play. I'm actually amazed I'm doing this well without all my removal spells and my SI agents. Okay, I'll keep those two. Do I want to keep Sprint? No. I mean, it's nice to have my only... My only Sprint in my hand, but... Nah, I... I don't know. 
I don't think I should. Well, okay, well, crap. <laughs> My sprint was replaced with Anixia. Good old Anixia. The pleasure is mine. Probably just Mad Bomber next turn. Oh yeah, if they play something, I'm definitely, yep, definitely get a Mad Bomber. Come on, come on, come on, hit it twice, hit it twice, once, yes, yes, yes! <gasps> oh, mad Bomber. <sighs> What are you doing? Oh god. I'm not even gonna attack the mad bomb. Actually, that makes sense. Hmm. Alright. Not really much I can do here. Maybe a slightly strange play. I'm certainly taking a lot of damage, but that means next turn I can Sunfree Protector and Defias. I didn't see any good way to combo that next turn without doing that. Yeah, this is a lot of early damage to take. Ooh. The Mad Bomber's definitely the right play here. Very good chance of killing the Fairy Dragon. Come on, don't fail me this time. Don't fail me, don't fail me, don't fail... What? Don't... Really, Mad Bomber? What were the sti- what? I want to know the statistics of the likelihood of that. And there were four possible targets. One, two, three, four, yeah. Oh, great. There were four possible targets. Wow, I'm just fucking dead. Look at this. Four possible targets. Me, two of the en enemy minions, and then them. All three hit me. That's a one in four chance. Is it, wouldn't the possibility of that being a 1 in 4 chance times 1 in 4 times 1 in 4? Whatever the hell that turns out to be. That's really, really unlikely. So many right, I need taunt. So, yeah. Because I'm going to die if I don't. I think Anixia might save me, maybe. I'm pretty just I'm pretty sure I'm just dead. Like I can take Now they're going to break through my wall next turn. I can't even punch stuff in the face. I'm just going to die. So many options. I think the Wind Fairy Harpy makes the most sense. But maybe I should master Swordsmith and just Sun Fury Protector it. No. I think that makes the most sense. Yeah. Ooh. 
Well, pretty much guaranteed to. Yeah. And they're just gonna kill my wind fury harpy. Great. Oh no! Just go for me. I lost on turn fucking six. Jesus Christ! Talk about getting my face wrecked. Wow. Maybe I shouldn't have held on to those early cards. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know if I've ever lost so fast before. That was, that was insane. They got momentum going and I just never gained it back. I still I don't think I've found the balance between... Between holding onto your cards till you can use them well. And the pressing need to simply use your cards at some point. There's a balance and I haven't found it. Get rid of cold blood. Don't really need that this early, very mu Well, I could combo it. There are one costers that I could combo. I'm actually going to keep them. The pleasure is mine. Well met. Wanna blow something up? Huh. I was just about to play that myself. <laughs> oh my god, Mad Bomber, what is wrong with you? Mad Bomber is such a massive dick. Alright, let's test my luck. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> Mistakes were made. <laughs> we can both <laughs> basket our misery of our crappy bombers. That was funny. I feel a kinship with this Storm Sean now after that. Reporting for duty. And they're just gonna cancel each other out. Yeah, okay. Let's forget that ever happened. Just get rid of the bombers. Make it go away. Next turn, I can protect my investments with my Taz Dingo. Ooh, that is most like, well, it's got a 50-50 chance of killing my Fairy Dragon next turn. I could hit it and then do this, but that would leave me with two mana to do nothing of any real use, so I'm just going to ignore it. There's a 1 in 3 chance it's going to kill it. And that 1 in 3 hit. Damn it. Alright, uh, Sprint's looking rather good right about now. I'm kind of out of cards. I've got buffs, but other than that, not much. Ooh, Ventrico is a very good play right about now. Get that early pressure out. And <laughs> this damn thing is still gonna stay alive. And I don't have any other minions to play, so this is a very good play because it's not really gonna stop me from doing other stuff at the moment. I need to get rid of that damn thing. So next turn I'll probably just take out my dagger. Okay, good, actually. I'm glad I didn't hit any of my... Any of my minions. I'd much rather hit my face. So yeah, next turn I'll probably just use my dagger on it. And then turn 7, I will sprint. Because I really, really need it. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Uh, 
Okay, lots of combos here. Lots of combos. So many options. Hmm. So I'm gonna be punching that in the face. There's no doubt about no doubt about that. And then if I play cold blood, I can eviscerate this. Here we go. I think it's more valuable to use this uncomboed. Yeah, it's got some insane pressure going. Okay, I've invested a lot into what I have here, so I really hope they can't remove that Ventrico Mercenary. Still, though, at this point, I think I've got my money's worth, and next turn I can sprint to get some options. Please don't play a taunt. Or at least not a big taunt. Wouldn't it be ironic if after losing on turn 6, I won after turn 6? Ooh, okay, come on. RNG, RNG gods, RNG gods! They did not go in my favor, but thankfully this thing's still alive. Which, actually, wait, that means GG, right? Well played. Well played. Well played. The victory is <laughs> I lost on turn 6, and then I won on turn 6. What the heck are the chances of that? Yeah, I really like the Venture Coat Mercenary. You can really, you can get some crazy pressure out that they just can't deal with that early on. 5-2. Oh, the curse is broken. Aside from the Storm and Champion, that's a really good starting hand. One coster? Eh, no Leopard Gnome, unfortunately, but still. I'm going second. Turn one Defias for the first time in this entire arena run, actually. Coin Defias coming right up. Pleasure is mine. Actually, that kind of sounded dickish now that I just said it. The pleasure is mine. I, I meant that as a greeting, but now it just sounded like I'm being an asshole. Huh, another one. Probably Raging Worgen next. Assuming they don't have something that does... Ooh! A 5-coster. Yeah. I thought it would be nasty. <laughs> Mad Bomber is not the play against a Gurubashi Berserker. Oh my god, that is like the worst play possible. Right. Um, I'm just going to play this Ignore it, and hope I have a way to deal with it later. They're getting a lot of buffs. I don't like this. I do not like this. Matt Bomber might be an okay play. Okay. 
Let's do this. And I'm going to Mad Bomber and hope that I can get my Raging Worgen up crazy. Come on, come on, come on. Hit it twice, hit it, no. Hit. What the fuck? That's terrible. What's wrong with you? Uh. Alright, well, it still leaves me with options, obviously. Gotta kill. Well, wait, hold on. Oh no, you don't have Wind Fairy yet because you haven't been activated, so. Yep, gotta kill you. That, uh, that didn't work out great, but it worked out okay. They're, of course, gonna just attack me, and then I'll take it out with my Defy's Bandit. Yeah. I was hoping I could have triggered my, my Worgen and then attacked them in the face, and then used its second attack to take out one of their stuff. Or, if I'm really lucky, gotten two hits off on the Gurubashi and just straight up killed it, but neither of those things happened. I hate Arena so much, I'm never doing this again after this next game, which I'll lose. Ah, oh, man. Oh no, it keeps growing. It's gonna kill one of my things and then get even bigger. Actually, wait, maybe it won't kill one of my things. Because it's going to be removed next turn. It knows that. It knows that. <laughs> As if the flesh-eating ghoul is making its own decisions. The player knows that. No, attack, attack me. What are you do? What? I... You should have attacked me. I don't think that was the right play at all. Yeah, huh. Anyway, actually, wait a minute. Hold on. No, I'm not... Actually, there's no way I'm gonna punch that thing in the face. Let's just do that. Hmm. Harvest Golem and Defias, or Ventrico Mercenary? Let's Ventrico later. Yeah, because I've got a lot of minions. So if I play that now, it would really shut down what my possibilities of playing this stuff. Hit that in the face, and then they're probably going to kill Mad Bomber or my Defias with their Earthen Ring Farseer. Yep. Ooh. Taunt would be nice. Hmm. Alright, so I'm going to remove their damage potential and just put this out on the board. Yeah, deal with this. You only have two damage potential at the moment. Good luck. And I can even protect this next turn with my Sun Fury Protector. Give my Mad Bomber and Damage Golem taunt. Alright, knocking down my damage potential. Uh, I don't have lethal, do I? No. I can give that thing 11 damage, which is pretty insane. Yeah, should I just get as much damage out of it as possible? I think I should. Zero three as per usual. Oh man, that's really disheartening. So many options. Shields up. Let's get some damage potential out of you.
gonna die next turn, of course. But they're really, really close to dead. Okay. This could turn out really well, or it could go absolutely horribly. Given that I just got the Assassin's Blade, I think it's going to turn out pretty well. Do I put the Wind Fury Harpy out? I could attack him in the face. With two attacks of this... They will die, but they're just going to use their hero power to gain themselves one armor, which would mean I would need three attacks with this. That's... Mm. So no, let's play this. Here we go. Now at this point, they can either use their Spiteful Smith and one of their little tiny things against it, or... Well, that's pretty much all they could do. So it's going to absorb damage. That's what I'm going for. Absorb damage. And if they leave it, they die. They have to deal with it. Silence it. You're still going to have to kill it though, aren't you? Oh, they're, they're going to use their three small creatures on it. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, Anixia? Anixia! Anixia, I need you right about now. You're not Anixia. Right. Can I survive next turn? 10, 11. They have 11 damage potential. Yes, I can. Okay. They're going to armor up, and they're going to be one out of reach, unless I get my poison. And if they get a taunt up, I'm dead. I'm probably going to lose. Oh god. Oh god, I'm still not dead, but oh god. Even Anixia wouldn't save me, because it doesn't give me taunt. I'm dead, right? One health away from... Uh, why? <laughs> One health away from victory. Here we go. Let's see if they're dumb enough to hit well my leper gnome and kill themselves. Well played. Time to do what I usually do to make myself feel better after arena. Uh, what is that? Eat ice cream? Yeah, well played. That was such a close game! <sighs> oh, go to casual and say well played and immediately concede. <laughs> what? That makes you feel better? Alright, 5-3. I'm very happy with that. Very, very happy with that. Let's see what I've got. Ooh, a back in 50 gold. And a light spawn. Let's see what's in the pack. Ooh, epic. I, oh, it's an ice block. Alright, cool. Alright, the curse has been broken. I finally managed to get above three wins. For the first time in... What is it? Three or four games, I think? Yeah. Oh, happy they do well in Arena, though. Well done on a 5-3. Thank you. Alright, well, I hope everyone has enjoyed, and I will be back soon with another Arena.